Okay, so you come out to your uh, SX4, um, the climate control version one, the one with automatic air conditioning as opposed to the manual. Uh, I'll show you the panel for the manual. Not going to happen if you've got the manual air conditioning, only applicable to the climate control. So strictly talking about the uh, climate control panel here. So you, uh, you start your car up one day, you turn your air conditioning on, and all of a sudden you notice that the AC LED, green LED is flashing. That's telling you you have a fault in the climate control system. So maybe you know that. Maybe you don't know, you don't actually need a scan tool to actually extract the fault code from the system. So what you can do, and I'll review it in the manual, but I'm just going to show you now uh, how, what the manual basically tells you to do. So with the ignition switch in the off position, so put the, uh, the temp selector, max cold, put the, uh, the fan switch selector in the off position, and then the uh, mode selector to the auto position, okay? So max cold, off, and auto. So the two switches we're going to be dealing with from here on in are these two switches here. So what you want to do with the ignition switch in the off position, hold these two switches down, simultaneously rotate the ignition switch to the on position, and it will go into the test mode. See those two indicators there? Keep an eye on them. Keep an eye on them. Focus on this one here, Stevie. So we've got two, one. So that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we've got one on this and four on this indicator. One on the one on the recirc, four on the fresh. Okay, so I'll rotate to the off position. So this is a bit here, Stevie. So what? There's nothing wrong with my car. I've dummied this up. I've faulted one of the sensors for the for expressly for the purposes of demonstrating this. You don't need a scan tool. You don't need to hook up to the OBD2 uh, plug. You don't need to pull the uh, um, uh, the DTCs. Even if you have a basic scan tool, it's unlikely that you're going to be going to be able to go into the body control module and pull the codes from it in any case. So this entire module actually has an internal uh, built-in test facility as I just demonstrated. So I'll take you to the manual, I'll review what the manual actually says, and then we'll actually decode these flashes and see what it says, see if it makes any sense with respect to what I've done to my car. So here's the detail from the manual. So not using the scan tool, Suzuki scan tool, or any scan tool for that matter, uh, you can in fact use the sequence of uh, uh, that I just went through uh, in order to uh, pull the code from the system. So there's a couple of notations here uh, making mention about what can't be checked. Um, if you get the uh, sun load sensor, uh, can disregard that because you can actually get splurious uh, sun load sensors if you don't actually have uh, in the proper test configuration, which is basically put a 100 watt light above the sensor before you commence with this. So basically disregard the sun load sensor. I've seen that a couple of times on my other car when I've actually done an auto scan. The uh, sun load sensor comes up on both my Grand Vitara and the uh, um, and my Suzuki SX4, the one with the uh, automatic air conditioning, of course, um, if you don't have uh, in the proper configuration. So you can basically disregard that. It's kind of a, um, a red herring, if you will. So here's the actual uh, setup for uh, doing the test that I actually just done, detailed in the manual. Uh, set the following selectors to the specific conditions, uh, to posi specific positions below, respectively with the ignition switch in the off position. So initially with the ignition switch in the off position, temp selector to max cool, uh, blower speed selector off, so the airflow selector to the auto position. So again, that's basically on the three switches, AC switch to the max cool, um, blower selector to the off position, mode selector to the auto position. While pressing the AC switch and the air intake selector, so that's these two switches here, 
the AC switch and the air intake selector. We're talking about the, uh, the recirc and the uh, fresh selector, the push button functions of both, uh, both knobs, not the rotary dial, but the push button switch itself, the AC switch and the uh, uh, fresh or uh, recirc air. Push these simultaneously. So you push them simultaneously, uh, push them both at the same time, simultaneously, uh, turn on the ignition switch. So if you get this sequence out of uh, out of order, it won't go into the test mode. The key thing is to have them both pushed at the same time and then rotate your ignition switch to the on position. You don't have to start the car; just uh, just turn it to the to the run position. So um, wait for five seconds uh, for the diagnosis uh, procedure to actually start, and uh, write down the flashing pattern of both the fresh and the recirc. Uh, indicator lights so that's them here so this is the uh, the research and this is the fresh unfortunately um, the left and the right is switched on the matrix I'll show you what I'm talking about right now so once you actually retrieve those codes uh, they don't do you any good of course unless you can actually make some use of them um, in the manual so I'll just go through the uh, all the codes here and you can uh, put it in a slow mode or review it as required uh, by the way not every failure in the system is going to translate to the AC light actually flashing here on the on the matrix as you can see um, this this is this little test is actually quite comprehensive it te it tests a bunch of sensors on the car make of that what you will uh, you can perhaps use it for uh, other purposes other than just um, climate control issues right so here's where I'm talking about um, the fresh and the recirc. Unfortunately, they're flipped because on the car itself, you can see, uh, again, just to be clear, this is the recirc and this is the fresh. So these numbers are basically flipped with respect to the, the uh, LEDs. So I'll just go through here. I'll just go through this slowly so you can actually catch all the different codes, make some sense of it if, in the event you do have some codes. There's the sunload sensor malfunction. Again, take that one with a grain of salt. Okay, so in the event you do this test and you don't have any failures in the system, this is what you're gonna get. Both lights will flash uh, in sync with one another three times and then the sequence will actually repeat. That's if you have no issue with the system, right? So there is um, a way to actually reset the system as well in the event you do have a failure. Uh, here, clearance of the codes. Again, not using the scan tool. Uh, it's basically the same, uh, the, same, the same type of approach. Push both of these switches and actually rotate the ignition switch to the off position while you're holding these switches and then it should reset any fault codes and then you can retest the system to see that if you've actually cleared anything of course once you change the sensor fix the wiring um, component whatever as you actually have to deal with uh, according to the fault matrix okay so if you recall on my car we actually had this code here four and the one. Again, keep in mind they're flipped. So we had the four and the one. And actually, this is if you had a scan tool, this is the B code that you would actually be able to pull out, the DTC. It would it would uh, correlate with the, uh, or translate, I should say, to the outside uh, temp sensor. And this is basically the failure detail and the AC, the AC indicator was in fact flashing, right? So this is the code that we had on my car. Um, let's take a quick look at it and see if we can make any sense of it. So just to prove the point, here we are of course at the front grill of the car. And that is the outside temp sensor. And as you can see, taking the connector off, just for demonstration purposes, pop it back on. Trick it you do one hand, but there we go. Here to click, it's back in position. So, as you can see, the built in test facility and the uh, um, 
climate control module does in fact work. So I thought I'd better take a quick look in the uh, the owner's manual here, not to be confused, of course, with the uh, with the workshop manual, but in the uh, the owner's manual itself, there is a mention of the uh, on page uh, four eighteen. So sorry, four dash twenty eight. 4-28 uh, if the AC indicator light which we're talking about there the one we've been talking about uh, blinks there is a problem in the heating system and or air conditioning system you should have the system inspected by an authorized Suzuki dealer or you know how you do the test yourself save yourself some money right okay well I think I've covered just about everything I need to um, I hope that makes some sense. Uh, maybe that will come in handy for some somebody. As I said, it, ten, it tests a bunch of things on the car, a bunch of sensors uh, and a bunch of interfaces. So it's no just strictly climate control stuff. It could do vehicle speed sensors and yeah, tons of stuff. So anyway, thought I'd pass that one. That's it. Cheers.